Hello everyone. So I'm here with Gabriel, my dozen grid ahead and a 60 centimeter dolcetto body. I'm actually, I actually grabbed him off the shelf today because A, I missed him, and B, because Dolzone is actually discontinuing his sculpt, or this sculpt, I should say, because it's supposed to be a girl. Dolzone is actually discontinuing all the one-third girl dolls for some reason. I don't know why they haven't said, but that makes me super sad because he's like, the, I, I think two other people have a Dolzone Greta that I know of. And so, you might not see Greta's around much anymore, and that's, that made me really sad for some reason. I love this sculpting, though. I, it is a little odd, but I do adore it, so. <laughs> but, anywho, <laughs> I actually have been trying to record a video for about a week and a half, and it has not been working out at all. And it's been really frustrating. I have been just trying to, you know, give some updates and just rant about some things and no matter what I did, it just was not coming out right. And I think I found what the issues may be. So I decided, hey, let me give it one more try and try and rant it out. Maybe I'll feel better. But I've been feeling very blah about the hobby, and one of my last videos was was also me feeling blah, but I think what that was is, is just general problems I was having with the community, Tumblr to be specific, and I think ranting it out and receiving such amazing comments that I wish I could answer uh, <laughs> to... to <laughs> Just when YouTube asks you a question, just pay attention to what it's asking you. I accidentally hooked my YouTube up with a Google Plus account, and now I can't find my messages. The link is gone. I don't know where to find them, and I'm really frustrated. So, <laughs> so I would love to answer these messages. I would love to read through them, but I cannot access them. So I'm going to try to figure that, figure that out today, I hope. But, anywho, I received such great comments on that, and I was so very, very thankful for them, and thankful that I had ranted about my problems in the first place, because it felt good to get it out, but it also felt good to get such um, great comments back. I would like to thank you all for that. And Sarah, for your video, I, I was very, I just loved that. <laughs> I love that the words you had for, you know, how things should be in this hobby, and I agree. I definitely agree. But after doing that video, I thought, you know, problem solved. Everything's great. <laughs> and I'll stop feeling blah. It'll be amazing. But that's not what happened <laughs> at all. I just got more and more down about things. And yesterday, between yesterday and today, I think I've finally nailed down what has been going on. The first is just financial stuff, um, which occurs, you know, every once in a while. <laughs> I have been looking up computer stuff and how much it would cost to make a computer and all that. And I just got very, very intimidated and very panicky about financials. And it was to the point where I was just, like, having stupid stress attacks over it. And it was really, really beyond nutty <laughs> and frustrating to even think back on. And I was putting some big pressure on myself to, like, start immediately towards this computer plan. Like, start right now when I can't. I, I just can't. I wish I could, but I can't. I, I can't do it until things, are, all my layaways are done and things are a little more even keel and that will be in December and I just will have to deal with that. <laughs> so I've calmed down about that definitely. And then the next one was an odd one for me. It hit yesterday. Um, I've been catching up on people's videos and just adoring all the new dolls that are coming in like Winnie's Avery and Jane of course Denali Wins Jane. 
and just watching videos about cheese, Norty's cheese. And it's funny, <laughs> I think it finally hit me that I want another SD girl. Preferably if people 60, but I just want another SD girl in general. And it's <laughs> it's funny, I came home yesterday looked around my collection and I was like, when did it become such a sausage fest? I have so many boys, it's ridiculous. And I only have three SD girls. And the SD girls I have are all on weird bodies. And it's starting to actually get to me when I didn't think it ever would. <laughs> they all are on bodies that are hard to dress, not necessarily hard to pose. My Deacon Doll Lola especially, she's actually a very good poser. The Deacon Doll bodies have all these like locks and things in it, so they actually can hold poses very well. Her hands are enormous though, drives me nuts. Uh, they're actually off right now, but like look how big, like, like what is that? <laughs> like her hands are super friggin huge, um, drives me absolutely nuts especially compared to his hands like he's on a boy body his hands should I, I it's just frustrating anyway they'll stop ranting about her hands um it's just it dawned on me that I have no like really simple like easy to dress easy to pose easy to uh, you know in my favorite size which is his size 60 centimeter I have none of that in girl in amongst my SD girls. All, all I have is my Dalsito Olivia whose body is frustrating because it's very hard to dress because of the shape. And then I have my Dikadol Lola who's also hard to dress because she was super tall and she's similar to Eiffel House sizes and not a lot of people make clothes for that size. And then my my um, Haru, my Keno Kokoro Rosita head, who's on the Dolls and 62 Senior Body. She's the easiest out of all three to dress, but she's still in between sizes. So she can be very complicated in some areas, and it makes things like you just want to be like, come on, just two centimeters less and you'd be perfect. <laughs> but I think that was part of the problem that I, I'm like, I do not have an SD girl on my favorite size that's very easy to dress and very like I just think I just want a people 16 to be perfectly honest um but then I got upset because I'm like I will not be able to get one until next year late next year to be honest because I want to put my computer first because I know if I don't I know absolutely if I don't then I'm going to end up not doing it. <laughs> like e even if I put my put the people 60 first and get, and get my girl, that may lead to me wanting to get another doll or something else may come up or what have you, and I won't get my computer. And I have to get my computer as of late. Yes, just Monday actually. I went to restart my computer and all hell broke loose on it. <laughs> it was very horrible. I can't go past YouTube videos, which is very, very frustrating. I cannot even watch Netflix on it anymore. It cannot handle any sort of streaming video. Not exactly. Like, it can handle daily motion videos for some reason if I refresh it a couple times. <laughs> and I can't play games and it's just getting super frustrating. My computer is getting frustrated. So I want to put it first. So that means no people 60. And hopefully living vicariously through you guys will be great. <laughs> but I don't know. Yesterday I I was at my lowest when it when it came to um just a doll hobby. I was looking around my collection, I was like I feel unsatisfied, like I love all my dolls, but I feel unsatisfied because um, I'm having face-up doubts. I really feel like my face-ups are just, just uh, way under par. I 
have no style to speak of, so I feel like my dolls just look stupid, pretty much, is the only way to, to actually put that. And then I, I just was getting more and more frustrated that I don't have a lot of dolls that are uncomplicated. Like, there are very few and far between. And I really would appreciate more uncomplicated, um, uh, uncomplicated dolls around. Ones that I didn't have to put so much effort into. And I don't know. I just, I yesterday I was just very low. But I'm feeling definitely better. I do love all my dolls. I wish I had less boy dolls, but there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I, like, I got so low yesterday, I was actually thinking maybe I could sell a doll and then get the fecal 60 or at least pay off one of my layaways and not be so stressed about money. But I literally have no one I want to sell. But on top of that, I have no one I should or can sell. A lot of my dolls are... Well, I have dolls that are unpopular that probably wouldn't fetch much if I sold them or they wouldn't sell at all. And then I have a lot of dolls that if I sold them, I couldn't get them back, either from a company or um, otherwise. I mean, <laughs> like say if I sold him, which I, I would never do, but say I sold him, I wouldn't be able to get his head back. Uh, I could get the body back, but not his head and that would just be the most horrible thing ever <laughs> and um so like all the dolls i have that to sell that would be like worth anything that could get me a people 60 would be i wouldn't be able to get them back so it would be the stupidest thing ever so i'm not going to do that <laughs> but i did think about that yesterday and that was just ridiculous i was so upset that i thought that <laughs> and i'm like you know, this will probably pass, which it already is, kind of, because I'm like, I'm like, it's just a want, and while we'll probably always be there, it can hold, it's just another doll, you know, it can hold to after I take care of some personal financials and, and get my computer, and then we'll, I'll reassess, so, I don't know, I am feeling a lot better. Glad to have finally ranted this out, and, and <laughs> people are probably going to watch this and think it's so ridiculous. But yeah, <laughs> I was just feeling a little just weird about things, especially yesterday. But definitely on the road to getting better. And just to note that if, when, if, when, we'll see, I get my people 60, it'll be people 60 Luca. I have decided. I was thinking about people 60 Chloe, but then I was like, hmm, I probably shouldn't do that because I'll have the people 6, I mean, I'll have the mini for Chloe, and since the sculpts look, they definitely, all three sizes of the Chloe, or four sizes, I should say, they all look like older and older versions of the, of the Chloe, and like, if I give people 60 Chloe, no matter what I would do, do it would just almost look like I had a grown-up one now. Even if she was in a different skin tone, I'd be like, this would be weird. <laughs> so I, I decided on people 60 Luca. I think she'd be really awesome to have. So anyway, <laughs> now that I'm done ranting about this, I plan to do another video with just some random updates. And if you watch this, thank you very much. And I'm sorry to keep doing videos like this. I don't really have anyone to talk this out with, so I always feel it's better just to, you know, do a video, get it out there, and just get over it, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much if you watch this. I very much appreciate it, and I will talk to you later. Bye.